So let's talk about posterior myocardial infarctions. And it's very simple to understand, simply because 80% of the patients that we're gonna run into are right coronary dominant or right dominant. That means is that this right coronary artery that's running just like so is actually going to not only feed the anterior portions of this heart, but it's going to continue to wrap around and feed the posterior portions of the heart. So as you can probably see here, all we're talking about when it comes to a posterior MI is simply that clot or that embolus is not only going to pass through the anterior portions of the right coronary artery, it's going to get lodged somewhere in the posterior portions of it. And this is just an extension of the right coronary artery here in, again, 80% of people have this extension. So 80% of the people that get posterior MIs, it's an occlusion of the posterior portions of that right coronary artery. Do you love our short videos and you're worried that you're going to miss some of them? Well, don't worry about that because we're going to send them straight to your email. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine. Hit the link in our bio and sign up right now.